So following on from the previous video, we were trying to find out the area trapped between between uh, this line and this line. So when you come to do this, in reality, you're not going to get these two lines drawn on a grid for you, like um, like in the last video. So in this video, I've removed the grid. So we don't know the precise location of this point. We don't know the precise location of this point here. But our, our method is to, uh, uh, well, our aim here is to try and find out this area. But our method would be would be to sum up all these rectangles here. So uh, so so the width of this rectangle here is uh, is dx. So um so 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 our first step would be to to sum up um to sum up the the or, well is to to integrate from from zero from zero to this point here. Let's say from to a here. So so we would sum sum up everything there so so it will be dx here and then plus so so what we've done our, our first step is to sum up from 0 to uh, to point a and then the next step is to sum up from a to um, to to let's say b here so we're going to sum up um, from a to b of, of this whatever here and then dx so so uh, so the first step is to sum up everything from 0 to um, to a here and then so so that's sum up everything from zero to a and then sum it up from from a to b so that means summing everything up uh, from so yeah so it will be this add this but we need we need to know the precise location of this point here and we need to know the precise location of, of this point here so that we know the start and the uh, and the end we need to know the start and the end of this. Okay, so so we need to know this point and this point. Well, so so our next step is to find out the the coordinates at, at this point. Well, at, at this point here, this line will equal this line here. So so well at this point here, this will equal this. So uh, so let's rearrange this. So um so rearranging this would be uh, would be y uh y plus uh two okay so so now so y plus two equals x so let's put this into into here okay so so that would then give us y plus two equals y squared so it so says it's us trying to find a value of y or values of y where this side equals this side so it's really us solving this quadratic here okay so so it would be blah 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 blah, and and y when when y equals two, or or y equals negative one. So y equals two and y equals negative one. So what we know is that when remember this is x, this is y. When y equals negative one, uh, that's where the two will meet. Uh, or when y equals positive two, or y equals positive two. So that's that's when the two will will will, will, um, will meet. Well, if you want to know this x coordinate here, then all you have to do is um, well, don't forget this thing here is um, x equals y squared. This thing here is uh, y equals x uh, x minus two. So if if you know y here, you can just you 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 can just put it into here and then find out x. So so in this case, it will be um, it will be one negative one squared, which will be uh, which will hang on, let me think. Oh, uh, which will be which will be one. Yeah. So if you put this into here, then then the whole thing here will be one, which which does make sense. Look, because this here is one, and then uh, this here is negative one. Okay. So so this here is one, and then if if you want to know this uh, this point here, then put this into um, in, in, into the easiest of the two. So hang on. So so put this into here, and it will be a four. Uh, well, wait there. Let, let, let me think. Uh, why? Sorry, sorry. Um, hang on. So so if you put this, yeah, that that's right. That's right. Sorry. Hang on. Um, hang on. Let, sorry. Let, let let me start again. Here you've got this uh, y squared. Put this into the y here. So um so so that would be uh, that would be four. So that does kind of make sense because four is here, and then two is here. Okay, sorry about that. 
So, um, so this here is one. This here is um, is uh, is four. So now, now we can uh, we can set up our our integral now. So, so we we're going to integrate from from here from zero to one here because we we now know we now know it's one, and then we we so so we are going to integrate from well basically we are now going to to integrate from zero to one. Okay, so integrate from zero to one, and don't forget we we know that this height here we know that. We know that as x moves along, as x moves along, the height, the total height here will be will be two root x. Okay. So so first area is given by this from zero to one, from zero to one. Okay. And then so so the first step is this. That's this bit here. And then we've got to add it to um to to this. We've got to add it to this. So this here will be from from one from one to uh, to four to four, and then and then the as x moves as as x moves along here, uh, the height of the rec rectangle will be given by this. Okay, so now it's just a matter of, of working working this out, add it to to this. So would be um, so would be you integrating everything. So it would be blah 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 blah, and then it should equal um, it should equal four point five. Okay. So the the key the key step here is um, is is to um, to get to this stage here. Okay. So so you're really integrating from zero to this key point here, and then and then from this key point here you're integrating it to this key point here. So it's you at summing up this, and then you on a separate occasion summing up this, and then adding the two together. By the way, in the next video, there's a more efficient way of doing this. Um, I will explain it in the next video.